and round the grounds as well. So the championship, just looking at, <laughs> looking at the tables at the moment, who is who do you think is going to go up? Because it seems to be every single week a new yeah. team get, breaks mm. into the into the promotion, and then every single week a new team breaks into the top two. So it, it seems to be it seems to be Burnley. And then all of the nearly men from the past, yeah. however many years. Exactly. Brighton, Derby, Sheffield Middle, Wednesday, Ipswich, Birmingham, always. all of them. I think Borough um, are second I, at the I, moment. I, yeah. I think genuinely this year Middlesbrough will finally get. I hope so. I hope I so. Really with the, the to be club, honest, the club, they I really hope need to get with the Sunday. signing of Jordan Rhodes, yeah. that's yeah. a massive signing, and I think that might be what wins it for them. I really want to see Sunderland and Newcastle. Well, if Middlesbrough don't go up, I want to see Sunderland get. Um, relegated but if Middlesbrough <laughs> do go up uh, I want to see Sunderland and Newcastle obviously stay, stay up so then you've got that three way uh, Tyneside Derby you know if the Boroughs come up they're going to just finish 14th forever well but you still got that still spectacle of another Derby <laughs> um, that we can probably lose at because we love lo- losing Derbys uh, so and then looking down the t- table Leeds 16th Alex yeah in fairness since I've last been on here Leeds have gone through a relative resurgence mm. They've started actually playing borderline football. Um, obviously, Sam Byron went to West Ham in the transfer window, gutting. But it's it's just another story again of Leeds building up these brilliant young players from the academy, mm. and then letting them go to Premier League teams purely because of the financial situation at the club and the board. You can't not get that money into the club, um, which is gutting. Because if they'd have kept even a few of them, um, we'd probably be up there with the likes of. Borough and Hull so yeah it always seems to be the same story with Leeds um, get good players finish mid-table have a slump at the start of next season new manager finish mid-table yeah. um, so I think they, they need something uh, Steve Emerson's has come and he's done an alright job he's made a lot of very good signings but they're all loan signings yeah. I think they've got Liam Bridcut in from Sunderland I want to say Yeah. they've got um, Tom Adiemi in um, who else they've I can't pronounce his name. It begins with a D in centre mid. <laughs> Mr. D. Dia Gagora. Dia Gagora. From Brentford. Great shout. And he, he's been he's been decent. And oh, I think they got in a new striker up front. I hmm. want to say. Um, but yeah, apart from that, there's not really much more you can say about these. They'll finish 14th, 15th. Maybe even as high as twelfth. Who knows? But um, and do the same next year. <laughs> pretty much, it, which is gutting to see for such a well. For, I still consider a big club. Well, yeah, they're, they're one of the biggest clubs in England. Mm. Uh, one of the biggest managers in England. <laughs> Literally, yeah. What's an unreal fat man? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Not again. Uh, but currently, you've got Hull and Middlesbrough in automatic promotion spots. Burnley just behind. Brighton, Derby, and Sheffield Wednesday, and two points outside the promotion playoffs. Ipswich. So it is setting up to be quite a fantastic end to the season.